Hey, what's going on guys? It is Koba here and welcome back to some more daily transfer videos. We are re going through all of the recent rumours that are coming out for today and uh, we're going to run through them and tell you what's going on with them. So if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe to get these videos every day and let's see if we hit 10 likes on this video. That will be absolutely crazy. So we're starting off with Phil Jones. Obviously, I'm currently Manchester United centre-back. Uh, not really featuring in... Van Gaal's plans, I think he got injured quite a lot as well last season, so that probably didn't help, but uh, Marino's not really interested in using him, he's got obviously Barley and Smalling, and he may sign another centre-back yet, we don't know, so it looks like Phil Jones may go out on loan, believe it or not, uh, with Hull, and I believe Burnley as well, being interested in trying to grab him on loan, if I was any club uh, that isn't in the top 10 of the Premier League, I would be trying to get Phil Jones, it would be a crazy sign for a loan. Next up is David Sanson. He is another left back to be linked with West Ham. They are on the verge of trying to get anyone basically now to uh, cover that injured Cresswell spot. But left back seems to be very hard to come by this season. You know, there's been seasons in the past where loads of left backs have been available, but now it's it's a real struggle. I'm surprised they didn't actually try and get someone like Rahman, who went from Chelsea to Schalke on loan. They kind of missed out on that one, but they are still going for an actual permanent sign and centre back left back even. Next up is the big one. Real Madrid are going to go for David Alaba, is what I'm hearing. That is absolutely crazy. I think he's probably the only player that would actually improve them. That is mad. I don't know, like, the statistic, like the uh, the actual basics of the deal, what they would, like, offer, or whether it be a loan deal. God knows how they would try and work it out. But they are going to try and go for Alaba. You know, Real Madrid are finally waking up and trying to make a move in this transfer market. That would be insane to see Alaba at Real Madrid. I think, would he even play at centre-back or left-back for them? That's the question, but absolutely mental if they did go for him. Right now, it's obviously just a real big pipe dream of a rumour. Jonas Hector is next up. That is mental. That Liverpool are going to go back in for him, apparently, with a £20 million offer. You know, obviously, I've just mentioned before how left-backs are so rare to come by this transfer like window. And... Hector is a really good one. I think twenty million is going to be absolutely crazy money, but I just can't see it happening either. At the same time, Liverpool constantly being linked with left backs and it's not happened. So why would it change now? I think they won't go for him. Jan Mavier looks like he's going to make his move to Sunderland a permanent deal. Uh, obviously, he was on loan from Ruben Kazan last season, and he looks like he could be heading over to Sunderland to work with David Moyes this season. Steven Zafour is a weird one. The Anderlecht midfielder is desperate to leave because he, he, I think he played for one of their rivals. can't remember what the club was called. Um, Anderlecht. Or, uh, you know, will to let him go, actually. He's obviously a world-class midfielder. I think he's a really good player. It's crazy how he's ended up back in the Belgian league. But, you know, after playing for Standard, that's the team. Standard Liège, that's why he wants to leave because, obviously, his fans just still don't even like him as an Anderlecht player, which is mental. And obviously, every time he plays down the age, he gets uh, a lot of abuse as well. So he's looking for a move to a new league uh, with Burnley and Sunderland both interested. Imagine him signing for Burnley. That would be an insane signing for them and one that could potentially keep them up, uh, a player of his quality. Next up is Salvio, another player again with Sunderland this episode. But however, they are facing competition from AC Milan and Monaco. So it looks like a few of the bigger clubs in Europe are waking up to the fact that he may be available from Benfica. Julian Draxler saga continues. Obviously, he said he would like to leave, and uh, Arsenal are obviously going to be one of the clubs actually getting rumoured to be interested for him, but they would have to pay £50 million. And uh, Wolfsburg don't even want to sell him. I think that's why they're putting such a high evaluation on the player. It's the fact that they don't want to sell him, and if they do, they want to obviously get the most money possible for him. Obviously, it was always going to be Arsenal to get linked with him, having previously been linked with him when he was a player for Schalke. Jordan AU is next up. West Ham are going to try and get both of the AU brothers. Eight million for Jordan AU on this deal. Obviously, they're currently going for twenty million for uh, Andre AU to try and get him. So, can you imagine the, the link up? The two brothers at the same club would be nice to see as well. I'm not gonna lie, perfect link and all that. Carlos Baca is next up, and uh, this one's only come back up because. Salman Bilic said that he may only get uh, a world-class striker if they are still in Europe. They obviously play, I think it's tonight in the Europa, Europa League qualifying. And I think it's the first game at the uh, Olympic Stadium. So it's an interesting one, whether or not they go through, whether that affects any deals that they may go for. Obviously, seeing Backer in the Premier League would be insane. Ben Teke carries on with rumours. He's next up. Both Everton and Sunderland are interested in getting him for 
what would be a £30 million fee, but he has also said he may leave on loan to try and kickstart his career again. Tovan is next up. He has gone on loan to Marseille. That is a confirmed deal. They have a, they also have a end of the loan deal option, so they can buy him for £9 million when the loan deal ends, but it is a fresh loan to Marseille for Tovan. Rojo is next up. He has rejected a move to Shanghai to work with Sven Goran Eriksson. He... I think they had a 10 million bid accepted. I think that's what it was. And he's kind of like came out and said he doesn't want to go there. So he's rejected that move to Shanghai SIPG, one of the bigger clubs in China. Pritchard is next up. Now, we actually mentioned this one yesterday, you think? Uh, and that was, that was like he was going to go to Brighton. He did was speaking to Brighton even, you know, and he was at advanced stages, but then Norwich stole the move and he has now signed for Norwich. So apparently he's speaking to both clubs. However, Brighton was more... We knew about it. Norwich just came out of nowhere and managed to sweep in again. And what an excellent signing for Norwich. He's obviously classed as a cam on FIFA, but can play it on both wings. And we end with just a confirmation of Mohamed Diame's move to Newcastle. That is now complete. 4.5 million deal. He has signed with Rafael Benitez's men. And that leaves Hull with even less players, which is absolutely crazy. So that's what the squad looked like. Obviously, Alaba being the main deal in this, guys. I cannot emphasize how crazy that would be. But obviously a few other nice transfers coming in as well. Guys, if you did enjoy, let's see if we can hit them 10 likes. And I shall see you tomorrow for more Transfer Gossip.